uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom. Well, uh, hello there, you dirty grubs. How are you doing? How about yourself, you big bad, rockin', sockin', Rusty Shackleford looking guy. This is Rusty Shackleford here. Rusty's running the waffle tractor McRitter. Titter. Shitter. Um, no, it's a good tank. And we're going to talk a little bit about just hanging in there. Hanging in by your fingertips. And why it is so very, very important not to give the game away. Even when it feels like the world is falling apart around you. And as an adult over the age of 21, I'm here to tell you that it always feels like the sky is falling. And it's never going to stop. But it's just how you get to handle the ups and downs of life. And Rusty, Rusty's learnt to handle the ups and downs of life like an absolute champion. Two good things about Rusty. One, women love him. And number two, uh, he's top tier. Which means... Not a lot in terms of armor profile for the big uh, bidder here, but it does mean that he's got that beautiful tier 10 TD gun chomping at the bit as he rambles and stambles his way along this flank. Now, some of you might be forgiven for thinking that this is a weird move by a young man driving the sewing machine on wheels, otherwise known as the Waffle Mick tractor, but it's not so weird at all. Uh, if he's not getting shots, he's got to find shots. And with the departure of that very ill-fated ISU-152's foray into their heavy tanking role, where he attempted to push the heel and just hold, um, Rusty's really got a lot on his plate. And he knows that if he doesn't get around this corner and start putting bums on seats in terms of DPS then this game's going to be gone. And what I love about Rusty's performance here is it's not an incredible high damage game, but it is a game full of mobility, tenacity, and just pig-headed obstinance and refusal to lose. Uh, this is a lovely flank. I love playing on PC on this flank. You can do really stupid things and be incredibly well punished for doing them. Uh, on this flank. Unlucky there. Taking a little bit of a snap across into the backside. But surprisingly, uh, the rule of two bushes came into play. And Rusty McShackleford is lucky enough to be unspotted. He's also lucky enough to experience the joys of high volume diversity. Uh, or dispersion. As the case may be. It's now a two tank deficit here. Blind shot. Lovely blind shot. Pretty sure that one went in. Uh, and he is spotted. There is someone closer on the hill who knocked over a couple of trees there. So, Rusty's got to be very cautious here. He's holding form and he is strong of will. He is much nerve and many rejoicings. And there it is. A T-28. One of the uglier tanks to ever grace the halls of justice. But a tank nonetheless that has come a long way from being the absolute dog turd of tier 8 and is uh, is now a lot better because of it. Well, we're talking about the T-28. That's the prototype. I've made an error. No, no. It's uh, it's just a decent tank. All-round decent tank. Not as good as Rusty, though, and it's a 3-3, and we're back. Now, I'm setting the table for what will be a dessert of much delight. Uh, it's a Senlac game by myself running and rambling around the canal track. Uh, 2v3 now. Rusty. He's maintained the hit point pool. He's put out nearly 3,000 damage. And he's done so by moving his TD. Unlike many before him. Uh, watch out for that rock, Rusty. I saw it jump out at you. Always perilous. Unlike many before him. Oh, it didn't desert him there, the dispersion. He needed that one. The TD has left the uh, area. Oh, ho, 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 charioteer. Getting a little bit greedy there at the end, mate. I can understand it. The charioteer was sick, and I need a kill too. Oh, lovely tap on the back end. The swindler is windling. Uh, I don't know what this swindler's doing. I don't think this is the play, my bro. Uh, this is a tank with a turret, and you're very, very light, and he is very, very big. Uncertain as to the veracity of that swindler's gene pool. That is not the play, my boy, my friend. 
and this is why you're sticking to it to the end, but you also move when you got to move. And Rusty has moved when he had to zig. He zagged. Oh, Rusty, mistakes were made. And uh, I love that, though. He reversed up for that shot, so he was able to thrive and drive forward. No errors there. And the Swindler, with an almost desperate desire to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Tier 9 TD. I'm not... He's coming back. Swindling, notwithstanding. He's, uh, he's keen as mustard, isn't he? Oh, Rusty. Another error. But again, no punishment for that one because you're able to drive forward. The Swindler showing his buttocks there in a rare mating display uh, and takes one for 416. I'm not sure what the Swindler's trying to do. Is he is he putting... Is he presenting? Well done, Swindler. And Mr. Rusty Shackelford goes through to the, the next round of Fantasy Island. Thanks very much, Russ, for that uh, replay. If you want to send your replays in, it's bushkagaming at gmail.com. That number again, please. Bushkagaming at gmail.com. Do not send any money. We will bill you. Rusty Shackelford in the Waffen Tractor Traga Bitter. Uh, just a little bit. Uh, not so bad there, though. Good work, uh, my friend, Mr. Shackelford. Now we're going to have a look at a canal game. Canal, probably my favorite map in Blitz. And we're going to have a look at canal on uh, from the perspective of the Shenlak. Shenlak's a tier 8 light tank, a British tier 8 light tank that I actually really enjoy driving. It's a lot of fun. Here it is. Look at it. This is the old iPad. Doesn't look nearly as fresh and clean as the new iPad M4. Be that as it may, what a driver. What an incredible bush sitting champion. Look at me. No bush too deep. Spotting tanks. Well, not really spotting anything yet. Desperate to take the shot, but also understanding that I'll be incinerated. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, I saw there were enough spotted that I could actually chuck one out there, but still didn't make much difference. Uh, and we're now a tank down. This is probably my fault. Track hit. Track hit. Driving too far off cliff. So I'm just trying to cap this one, moving forward a little bit, thinking about life, wondering where that last tank is that has been unspotted, expecting it to be driving around this corner anytime soon or possibly just liaising at the top of the hill here. But no, he's not there. I was waiting for it. Oh, there we go. Hello. Hello, my little AMX. I knew you were about putting it about. And we're two tanks down. Now, I have capped something. I've done something productive. Uh, I don't know what the team's up to here. It is a... It is a mystery. Um, and there will be no solving this mystery. We'll never know the answers. Were they interesting? Yes, they were interesting. Were they... Competent? No. No. Hell. No. Absolutely not. Um, but were they... Were they ready to give it a red hot go? Yes. Certainly. They, uh... They were eager. They were full of spirit. They were interested and eager and not competent. And I think at the end of the day, if you can say that about a team, that they were eager and interested and not competent, then, you know, you've got some positives in there in the shit sandwich. That's good. Give them the positivity and then give them the bad. We're actually doing damage here. Uh, we're up to 1,200 with a little pew pew cannon. Putting them into the big stuff there, the tier 9 type 68. I didn't mention that we were low tier in this, but we were. All the odds were stacked against us. Uh, right from the start, they didn't want us to win, but we're irascible, and we are irrepressible. We're inexorable. Inexorable. We're looking for targets. Down by only one tank now, though. The team has come good. They've um, they've roared back with a vengeance. I've got to go back a little bit here, get the gun back on track, and then I uh, miss it. Uh, well done. Aim harder. Aiming harder now, looking for a tracking shot. Yep. Yep. Uh, the shell velocity isn't quite there. Uh, and you got to really aim a little bit further forward. Tying it up, three each, and oh, that looks pretty. Armour not pierced. I, I'm as surprised as you. Uh, but we got him. We got him. Yeah, we got him. Now we've been saving our hit points, luckily, because we're gonna get walloped here by one of these grubs. Uh, you'll see. Um, things are looking tough. Two tier nine tanks left. Uh, two tier eight tanks available to perform the miracle. One of them a boom sig, the other a a senlac, and like, you can hear the rat a tat tat there. 
Now, I would like to kill that guy. Enemy hit. I'm only going to hit his track there. That's cool. Uh, I understand that. He hurt. And uh, we did get the kill, though. Got to clear. There's the Type 68. Driving away. Getting myself out of trouble. Trying to give the Boomsig options. Saying, hey, Boomsig. How about it? Bet you come down here and... Uh, I'm in two minds here. I don't know if I want the Boomsig to actually go there. Because he's obviously going to get punished. And we're still whacking him. We're still whacking him. We're whackers. Whackers from way back. Oh, 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 oh shit. That was a large dose of wake up, buddy, and smell the coffee. You are not that good. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? The Rock is cooking. Absolute disaster. Nearly got one shot just about by that big bad boy, but we come good. We're tenacious. We stick with it. And much like Mr. Rusty Shackled but himself. We are victorious. Well done, Rusty. Well done, me. If you've got any replays and you want them featured, send them to bushkagaming at gmail.com and I'll pop them up on the old Buster Rooney silent rave. Yours is coming, my buddy, I promise. Uh, look after yourselves, boys and girls. Stay safe on the battlefield. And as always, mastery time. Bye for now.